All right, Keith, talk about the NFL Combine experience. What has it been like for you so far? Oh, it's been a great experience. I mean, I got to meet a lot of um, other great guys, and I got to, um, you know, see the best talent, you know, in this upcoming job. And um, I needed that. And I know, you know, that I got to do a little better in what I'm doing. What's it been like for you since the Cotton Bowl? Because I know you, you went and played in a game getting ready for this. What's it been like? Man, I miss Michigan State, man. It's been a grind, man. And um, ain't no more like baby, man. Yeah, I'm in the real world now. And I got to, everything I do is like, is, you know, is on me. Got to wake myself up. Got to do everything. What's it been like uh, being out here with some of your teammates? Obviously, Tony, Jeremy, all those guys are out here. Have you been able to talk to them at all? Or? Oh, yeah, I, see them, I see them all the time. It's been a great experience to be able to, you know, see um, other guys, especially your teammates, live out their dreams. I mean, it, it, it humbles you and uh, warms my heart. Getting ready to start the drills here soon. So, what do you kind of, what do you, what do you hope to run? What do you hope to lift? Kind of, what are your expectations? Well, I'm just, I'm not gonna talk about what I hope to run. I'm just gonna go out there and run and be myself. Eric, that's that's what I told everybody to ask me the question. So I'm gonna keep it the same. <laughs> Obviously, you guys losing yourself and Tony. Tell us about some of the younger guys that we can kind of look forward to next year that can make some plays. Oh uh, man, Kings, Burbridge, um, R.J., Muncie, True. And you got a couple more, they're going to make some noise. Them guys, they've was in the, they they've been in that fire with us, and they know what it takes. They've seen how hard we work. They practice with us each and every day. So they're going to get the job done. They're not going to miss a beat. Have you been able to really reflect on your time? I mean, you were part of the, the Rose Bowl, the Cotton Bowl win, scoring that game-winning touchdown. Since you've left Michigan State, have you had a chance to reflect and, and yeah. take it all in? Uh, after work, I was I go sit in, that, sit in my room by myself, and I just, you know, think about the times and, um, Think about everything I was able to experience, and, uh, and you don't get that. You don't, you're not. It's gonna be hard to get that back now. Like, not with Michigan State anymore. Like, and uh, you don't know if you know how long your career gonna be in the NFL. What, do you, what would you say some of your best moments at Michigan State were? You know, seeing us, seeing us being able to become become the um, you know the um, tie with the most wins as a senior class. That was one of the best things. Cause we came in with a goal. And that was to be the best. And then, obviously, you were close with Darquez at the draft Bro. last year and here. How has he helped you getting ready for this process? He just always tell me to, like, be loose and don't think a lot and just be yourself. And uh, we, we talk all the time from, like, a spiritual standpoint. And he just tell me, like, you know, be content with the plan God has for your life and just trust in his timing. And then, lastly, what do you think Michigan State's future looks like next year? Obviously, a lot of talent coming back. Yeah, what do you think it looks like? We're going to take over. Like, we're going to take over. we got a bunch of guys who are hungry.